Greenway, Harvest the Sun. Since ancient times, from Egypt to the Americas and across the world, mankind has worshipped and revered the sun. Not only is it at the center of our solar system, culture and mythology, but despite being approximately 150 million kilometers away, the sun's energy supports almost all life on Earth through photosynthesis and drives Earth's climate and weather. The ISS, International Space Station, gathered together some of the world's richest and most powerful nations to build a fully solar-powered space station. But until recently, despite being a nearly infinite source of energy, it has been difficult and expensive to harness electricity from the sun on an industrial scale, perpetuating our continued dependence on fossil fuels and the worsening environmental crisis. Ultimately, we don't have any shortage of energy. The problem is only with collection and distribution of it. Now, an advanced project in the south of Turkey is attempting to change all that with revolutionary new technologies that can bring affordable, efficient and clean energy down to Earth. We'll follow the Greenway effort from its conception to the moment of truth and find out if the sun can finally help us meet our global energy needs. Will this project succeed to make the dream a reality or be yet another expensive experiment? When I came here first, I found this Yoruk, a real man from the nature. He lives with nature. In his way, he follows his goats and his sheep. In my way, I follow the sun. We have a lot in common. We are the nature man. We live peace in harmony with nature. Together, we share a lot in this land and we become good friends. On his way, I add some technology. In a little while, I will show my technology how to harvest the sun. All my design based on simplicity. I was looking for the shop products, just a little adjustments on them, and durability, and an easy in the erection side. Now, I need to pinpoint the business that I'm into. So this came with a telephone call. My friend from Mojave Desert called me for a very interesting project. He was asking my assistance. I was ready. I was actually more than ready for this call. When he asked my assistance, of course, my answer was yes. Concentrated solar power, how does it work? Concentrated solar power, or CSP, in much the same way that sunflowers follow the sun, giant mirrors, or heliostats, are like high-powered magnifying glasses focusing the sun's energy into laser-like beams concentrated in a central point called the receiver, where the heat is used to make steam this steam turns a turbine to create electricity. No matter whether from fossil fuels or solar, steam is the main way of producing electricity, and the basic method has changed little since its conception. That steam can also be used as a byproduct for many uses, such as desalination, irrigation, and manufacturing. To minimize water waste, the system is designed with a closed circuit. Cool water is recycled back into the loop. While the basic premise is relatively simple, the execution is not. Heliostats must be wirelessly controlled in order to trim up a millimeter. Sites must be carefully chosen and positioned for optimal harvesting of the sun's energy. Two years over, but the work is done well. Here we are standing up in front of the heliostat, which is designed by us and manufactured by us. This is the, uh, the sun tracker. This is uh, an optic device. We spend all our engineering skills, all our talents, more than we have to put down to make the sun available to us as a thermal power. Today is the date, 11-11-2011, and the time is almost 11 o'clock. It's what a coincidence, but it's a good day for us. So the dream has arrived and dream is real. 
when I was sitting in my office, I dreamt and I said to myself, it's the time to make something else new. But I wasn't really sure how much work it includes to the job because it's very delicate and very sensitive work. We try to do 3,000 millimeters in 0.5 millimeters correction. So it is very precise job. We have mirrors, drives, and the frame, and the electronics to control. It has to be all function in once, so the tolerance can be perfected when we have the sun focusing to the target. Sardar's team must manufacture many of their parts in nearby factories. Now the project awaits its most crucial element, the solar receiver. But first, the 60-meter tower must be erected, also based on a modular concept. The tower can be shipped already assembled and can be erected on site in as little as one day, with as little as four people and one crane operator. However, as this is a pilot project, the men weren't sure how it would go, but the designs worked out perfectly and they were able to put things in place without any setbacks. That's in place and the tower erected, the men must bring the receiver approximately 70 kilometers from the nearby city of Adana, but the huge device barely fits through the tunnels along the way. The 35-ton device is mounted on the truck and shipped off. Tensions are high. Careful measurements, the receiver passes the lowest bridge with only a few centimeters to spare. Later that morning, the truck arrives at the site in Mersi. I was a bit worried today with my worry beats. However, receiver has arrived in one piece without no problem. We were late a bit week, but old job is not done completely. Now we plan to do necessary job on the field here, piping, wiring, and other instruments has to be put on the receiver and then we have to put the receiver top of the tower. But it's 40 degree, it's a big thing, it will be very tough to work top of the tower. We decide to put all the necessary equipment while it's on the ground. They will, this will make my guys life easy because we are doing a very hard job here. We learn many practical solutions this summer, working here, putting this heliostat field and putting the tower together. Now, we can install heliostats with two people in a few minutes. With few people, we can install 10 heliostats a day. Also, assembly line is done by our team. We successfully do the job now two guys each in each position in stationing in few minutes. With the sixth guy, I can erect 10 heliostats, completely erection. It means that putting together the heliostat, make the adjustments and then take the field, erect on the field and then make the necessary electronic input in the smart box. This experience now with my team made us ready for the real project. We have a project waiting for 30 megawatts. Then we already start planning to start the job next year. We have about four months to plan and another four months for the production equipment and then three months for erection time. I'm very happy with my team and do the job in time. Machinery still isn't tall enough to mount the giant device. 
and the men had to improvise, bringing the machine closer to the tower and just outside the limits of the crane's visibility. But the men must communicate over walkie-talkie to place the receiver in its exact position. With the receiver in place, the men secure it safely and celebrate. Zor bir günün ardından sonunda gördüğümüz kreylerin hep oldu. Even though the men and the machines were pushed to their limits, the tower was erected without incident, and the largest obstacle had been overcome. Now it was up to the team to carefully calibrate the heliostats, check the software, and ultimately find out if everything would come together. When the tests are run and all systems are in order, it's time to power up the plant. One to two men monitor the system and make necessary adjustments by computer. These heliostats are very smart. The test proved successful and Greenway was able to produce the projected amount of electricity on time and within budget. Each heliostat can provide enough power for approximately one home. Building on existing technologies, Greenway added new improvements for a design that can be implemented anywhere there is a will and sufficient sunshine. It is projected that global energy needs will rise as much as 40% in the next 10 years. Our current rate of fossil fuel consumption can only meet those needs at tremendous cost to human health and the environment. CSP technologies, like those at Greenway, can provide a much-needed bridge to reduce emissions and provide affordable green energy, working as independent projects and also offering hybrid solutions to the conventional plants. As engineers like Serdar Erturan and others across the world continue to seek ultimate efficiency and a greener world, they will work to hybridize CSP technology with existing carbon-based energy plants. The Greenway project offers not just electricity or energy, but also has designed a cooling system that takes the existing steam and uses it to distill seawater. A major plus for plants in desert environments not only are the carbon emissions close to zero, but also the byproducts are helpful to the environment. Each small step to reduce emissions and improve efficiency, that each new city that supplies its own green energy brings us that much closer to a green and sustainable future.